Hey guys, Maniac here with GameAccess.net. Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception came out today. It's November 1st. I have waited to play this game for probably a year. I mean, it was first announced, I believe, at the um, at the last uh, Spike Video Game Awards shows, and that happens in December, or around December, I believe. And um, I wanted to, uh, I, of course, I'm a huge, huge fan of Uncharted. Um, huge fan. I, you know, the first Uncharted game, I played it, uh, I got it as a birthday gift. I played it, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I liked Uncharted 2 a lot. I picked that up the, the month it came out. I was a huge, huge fan of it. I still play it every once in a while. Um, those are two of the only games that I really have platinum, um, uh, trophies in. Uh, certainly the first Uncharted game was definitely the first game I ever had a platinum trophy in them. Um, I, little thing I noticed right here. It's marked for all regions. I thought that was uh, kind of cool. I don't usually see that kind of sticker on a Xbox. Uh, I'm sorry, on a PlayStation 3 game, as you can see up here on my PlayStation collection, or at least some of my PlayStation collections, they all have uh, Region One listed on them. But uh, this is marked all. Now I know that region coding has been something that's been frowned upon over the last couple of years. They have been getting rid of it, as far as I can tell. They have been getting rid of it at least. Um, it's been lessened because everyone's universally hated it. So, I, I thought that was a nice sign of things to come. So, uh, this is it right here. It's $100 United States uh, dollar. Uh, it comes with some pretty cool stuff, actually. Now, this is uh, all pretty much all physical content. You get a nice little carrying case with it, uh, which is right here. You get uh, the uh, Nathan Drake figurine. Let's see if I can focus in on that. Uh, replica uh, belt buckle for Nathan Drake. As you can see here, it's got a little nice little horseshoe on it. A replica of Nathan Drake's ring with that he wears around his neck. Now that ring, according to the uh, the legend of it, at least it was first depicted in the first game, that ring belonged to Francis Drake. He inherited it through his family. Now that's kind of odd because, of course, everyone knows Francis Drake died without having any heirs. There was no... He never had any children, so... Could you know? Could Nathan Drake actually be a um, a descendant of Sir Francis Drake? Well, we really don't know. Uh, maybe the game explains it. I haven't played it yet because I haven't even opened the box. But maybe this game will talk about that. So I I, I think that that was uh, uh, enough of the. Of course, there's also the steelbook case that it comes in. Now, if you bought this at GameStop like I did, um, you basically get a um, a certain buffs. You get early access to those. Um, you can download those through the, you know, just through unlock redeemable codes through the PlayStation Network. Um, obviously, there are other uh, retailers such as Amazon.com, uh, possibly Best Buy. Uh, just a whole handful of um, of retailers that uh, basically have their own specific bluff, uh, buffs, and uh, you'll have early access to them. But unlike with uh, most of these uh, downloadable content stuff, you will earn access you can you can earn access to the oh crap well there goes the value of it i'll uh i'll have to get a knife or something something sharper we have a set of keys oh jeez. um yeah i'm gonna just have to chop that just uh i have a knife <laughs> let's uh cut these off because these are a bit tough to get off so there we go There we go. Like, there we go. I can just remove those stickers later. This is not damaging the box in any way. Okay. Now this looks like there's two tabs in the rear. And these just pull right out. There's no other tabs in the front. Okay. So there it goes. Let's pull the tab off back here. I can get to it. There we go. Uh, so, I always like the Uncharted games, um, starting with Uncharted 1. Funny story about how I feel about those. Ooh. Oh, hello. Okay, so I guess this is how it opens. You have this on one side, and you have. Oh, so it was one big box. You see that okay? And it's wrapped up. And I guess it just kind of pulls out or pulls through everything in the box. Okay, let's see if it's packed very well. Can I push it through? Let's see if I can push it through. OK, 
Okay, I can't really push it through. Oh, okay, so that's why. Okay, let's try that. These are the tabs on the bottom. There we go. Perfect. Oh, it's very well wrapped. Okay, this uh, exterior box right here, um, if you can see it, reminds me a lot of kind of the design for um, some... Ooh, okay, so it goes like this. It's supposed to go like this. It's on, it's on little feet, very similar to like, um, I don't know, the kind of stuff you'd buy at a Pier 1 or something. Okay, I'm going to make a comment about this. I don't want to sound offensive, but that is definitely the Star of David. I know that's going to have some very major cultural Jewish uh, Jewish cultural significance. Um, I also see, um, if you can see from the uh, embroidery, uh, designs of um, multiple stars in here. Um, it looks like what looks like the sun right here on each of the ends of the stars. That could very well have major Muslim um, cultural significance. This is what it actually very much reminded me of. Now, obviously, Lawrence of Arabia, if they're going this way. Um, Lawrence of Arabia, of course, Arab, you know, Arabic... Um, so, that is, uh, if that's the, ooh, okay. Alright, first off, I want to make a comment. That's paper. It looks like it's got texture. It doesn't. This is paper. Um, yeah, that's not solid. That is paper. Kind of disappointing. I was kind of hoping for something wood panel. But you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. Okay. Like as I was saying, this kind of at first reminded me a little bit of, um, yeah, that's paper too. Wow. Well, that's cool. So as I was saying earlier, this kind of reminded me a little bit of like um, some of those uh, boxes that um, come with or the, the collector's edition boxes that um, Blizzard has made. I take it back. Now this very much is more along the lines of how you would get uh, action figure boxes. Uh, most of uh, the collector's action figure boxes will usually have like an open panel like this. It'll be enclosed. It'll be kind of like a, a hushed casket or something like that. And you can actually see your doll or uh, action figure or collectible inside of it. Um, it definitely looks like it was modeled after that simply just because, well, let's just face it, you've got a little statue of Nathan Drake in here, which I cannot seem to get out. Okay. So, oh, okay. Whoa. Nathan Drake's ring. Good thing I'm shooting in 1080p, but... Okay, this is what's important. If this is indeed Nathan Drake's ring, what is most important about this is not so much the, the, the shape of the ring itself. Now, this is real metal. And it is certainly, um, it is definitely on the outside engraved with the um, correct things that Nathan Drake's ring did in fact have, um, his famous sayings. But what was inside the ring is actually just as important, the coordinates to um, what would have been his tomb. So let's see, is it in there? And I do in fact, let's see if I can hold it up to the light just a little bit better. I can... I do see, yeah, I do see coordinates in there. So the attention to detail as clearly defined in um, Uncharted 1, particularly these coordinates are supposed to be the location of the tomb, well, uh, the resting place of Francis Drake's body. However, Francis Drake isn't in that body. It wasn't, wasn't in there. They looked, they exhumed the casket, but um, all that was in there was Drake's journal. Drake left his journal in there. Um, right, and by that, of course, I mean Francis Drake. But... Um, that was uh, there was no body in that casket, so that I thought was very was very sweet. Okay, let's see what's in here. This is probably the belt buckle. I'm guessing that is the belt buckle. Okay, let's see what we got here. Kind of looks a little bit like copper or brass or something. It's metal, definitely metal. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a Pony Express belt buckle I've seen many years ago. Obviously, it's got a horseshoe on there. Old English thing for good luck. Old horseshoes. Very, very nice. Very well made. So, that is really cool. This, of course, is the steel book for the game. Um, I'm not going to open up the manual for legal... Okay, this is sealed. So, I'm just going to give that for a minute. Let's put that over there. See if I can get the statue out. You have to two-hand that. Very fine detailing on this. This is based on the updated uh, um, 
Nathan Drake model. Uh, people have said that he looks a little bit fatter in the face uh, with the new game. Uh, he has the horseshoe. He's of course got the ring on his net around his neck. His boots. This is obviously his uh, Uncharted 3 appearance. There's no doubt about that. Of course, the AK-47, a weapon of choice in the game series. Um, of course, obviously, this is of course I'm buying Uncharted 3. Obviously, I'm going to want the uh, the Nathan Drake um, appearance. Nathan Drake, of course, voiced by Nolan North. Okay, so it comes in three parts. That stand is detached from uh, Nathan Drake himself. Um, very nice, very nice indeed. Um, as far as I, I can tell, there doesn't seem to be any DLC included with this, um, but then again, I wasn't expecting it to. DLC is available for the game um, as a season pass, however, I don't believe anything has actually been released yet. Uh, similar to what's going on with um, Gears of War, um, you can basically... Um, uh, you can basically buy like a season pass or something like that. The steel book, of course, is obviously very similar. Is basically just a, you know exactly that. It's a steel book. The game is inside this. Um, hold on, I still have my knife. Got it. Got through. Um, yep. So the steel book uh, looks very similar on the outside of it to um, what the uh, the same uh, same uh, embroidering that the uh, obviously that the uh, box itself has um, of course Nathan Drake's ring is on the cover of it and uh, we'll open it up and see the game okay so this is the um, yep of course this is the uh, steel book obviously very similar uh, in appearance to the oh, let me show you this is a comparison here this is the halo this is the uh, book for the halo legends the steel book um, as far as I can tell, they're pretty much identical cases. So, look at the spine similarity. Uh, they're pretty much they're pretty much identical. So, that's the uh, Halo Legends Blu-ray. It's obviously the same material. It's just different. Uh, it's just different uh, things. Th that having been said, obviously we're doing a collector's edition. Obviously, you want a steelbook case. That's something I really wish that they would have done with the. Um, the Gears of War uh, Epic Editions steelbook case, they did not do that. So, I appreciate the fact that they did this. They could have done a steelbook case, but uh, they, they didn't. It was, it's a plastic case. That was, a, I mean, with the, uh, with the Epic Edition. So, we'll open this up. If I can get the steelbook open. Um, for legal reasons, I am not going to show the inside of the manual. Uh, that might be copyright infringement, considered copyright infringement. Um, there is the game right here. And this is the owner's manual, which is perfectly, uh, looks identical to what the owner's manual would be on the, um, on the final, uh, obviously on the regular version of the game. I see some cool designs in the background, probably promotional art, similar to, probably, it looks very similar to what's, uh, what's going on on the back here. You can see the billows of smoke. I'll uh, pop this, I mean, I'm not going to remove the disc, but I'll pop this right off. So you can see. Yep. Okay. Okay, so in time now for my review of this. As I said, it is $100 uh, US uh, currency. With everything that's included in this collector's edition, including the horseshoe or uh, belt buckle which is wearable the wearable Nathan Drake ring with the proper engravings on both the inside and the outside of it the Nathan Drake statue with stand in AK-47 detachable the steelbook game case itself and the cabinet closet even though this is in fact paper of um, of this I would basically say that I would call this a required purchase. This is fantastic. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the ring alone 
is mo worth most of the price of admission. Now, the copy of this game is uh, $60 US. That's a regular, plain old, normal vanilla copy of the game. Um, with uh, downloadable code included with it, then you're talking about because you have to play multiplayer, that's another $10 on top of that. So used, basically, it's still 60 bucks. This has a $40 premium over that. With that, you get the large uh, replica box, uh, the statue of Nathan Drake, the replica ring, the belt buckle, and the steelbook case. $40 is worth the price of admission for that. I will stand by that decision. Um, I would certainly recommend this to Uncharted fans, like certainly diehard Uncharted fans. I would also recommend this to people who are interested in getting in on Uncharted. I really, really like this collector's edition a lot. I think it's a really well-made one. I like the statue. I wish it had come with the behind-the-scenes documentary. And uh, I know that two-man, uh, two, I'm sorry, two-player, uh, the, the two-player guys, um, that had done a two-part documentary about the making of the game, but they've only released one part of that documentary. Where is the second part, two-player? Where is the second part? I because I want I want to watch it. You did one part when you made the announcement that the game was was being released, or or was just come was in development, but you haven't released. It. You said there was going to be a second part, and you haven't released it yet. So I am very much looking forward to that, and I want. Uh, Two player to uh, to to release that, so uh, please get on that two player. As for the rest of this, obviously this is paper, so I, I you can knock down for that. But it's really well made. I really like the graphics on it. Obviously, if you want to, you know, it's like there's some boxes that are made much better. Uh, obviously, I would probably say that the Pandora's box box included with the uh, God of War three collector's edition, or I should say ultimate edition, was probably um, better made because that was plastic. Uh, artisan replica but this is very nice looking this is very nice looking i really do like the the feeders um, my parents have several several bureaus and cabinets that will remind me very much of this and uh, i think it's i think it's pretty cool um that having been said my favorite thing is the ring i um i like the i like the replica ring and i do like that they properly did engrave it so it's got a required review it's um it's fantastic it's definitely worth the price all the material, all everything included, is great. Um, it gets the uh, gets my 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 seal of approval. Uh, until next time, guys. This is Maniac with GameAccess.net, and I'll see you on uh, PlayStation Network. Over and out.